what I want to ask about, what I want to talk about, is uh, the safe injection site the city just opened up. You're familiar with that, right? You know where you can get your uh, do your drugs, and it's, and it's uh, they have medical people there, and they'll give you all the needles and stuff. You're familiar with that, right? I don't do any needle stuff. You're not telling me anything. I just asked if if I could talk to you. you said yes. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, but I don't do any needle stuff. Oh, you don't do any needle stuff. Yeah. So the the place said that it it's more than just needles. You can use anything you want there. And they have uh, supplies for you and medical people there that if, if there's any problems, they can take care of you. Have, you. have you heard about that? No. It's literally one block away. Okay, so you live here. Here's the deal. Now you have safe injection sites. Right behind me is the safe injection site. There it is. And that's what's happening. And now we're going to go get the thoughts of the people. What do they think? All right, guys, so people should be more aware of what's going on in the world and take advantage of the opportunities that they have. Because me, I was an innocent bystander five years ago. I was watching a basketball game and got shot. And I couldn't let that stop me because I have kids that look up to me and my daughters that I have to support. It certainly uh, changes your life in, in, that, in that regard. That's, that's horrible. But it's apparently not slowing you down. And in fact, you're, it sounds like you're, you're telling people uh, a little less complaints on their end. Yes, I say if people have two legs and two arms and a great mind, I feel like they should not sit around and complain because I lost a lot. I lost my legs, I lost my mobility, but I'm still keeping it moving and I'm still I'm working and I'm trying to get myself together and I'm helping people get accessible apartments. That's my goal. And you're, you're the perfect guy to ask the question, okay? We were, we're all over asking this question. Are you familiar with what's just a couple blocks away that just opened up just just last week? Do you know what I'm talking about? It's okay if you don't. No, I don't. Okay. So, very unique, the safe injection sites for people who uh, have a, a trouble addiction with drugs. Okay. They, it's, it's BYOD, bring your own drugs. Okay. They can go there. It's taxpayer funded. Okay. All the supplies are there. And if they OD, they'll be taken care of there. There's, and this is the first site in the United States of America. Where are you at with that? Honestly, I feel like it's helping keeping them off the street and it's helping them not be out here just chasing drugs and shooting up in the corner in front of people, kids. So I agree with it. So you're saying that right now with the law that's in place, it's legal to do that? That's correct. It's, okay. it's a federal law. And it's, 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 it's called the uh, crack house law. It's, it's, the common law. it's a couple decades old. Uh, ironically, uh, then Senator Biden actually helped write it. But nonetheless, that's a federal law. This is this is the location. This is what this is what's happening. Uh, there's no other place like this in America, other than on the other side of the city here. But uh, speaking, this is very unique. This hasn't been done before, at least not in the United States of America. And the city is very progressive with this idea. The city's coming out, and the city's saying, "Listen, okay, we have an epidemic. Okay, we have epidemic of drug use, and we have overdoses, and they want to open this location where it is safe to use." drugs why is it safe because they have people there that will work on you and revive you if you overdose so that's uh that's exactly what we're doing here and we're gonna see we were there uh we talked to some you know the employee and uh talked to a lot of people off the record nobody wants to go on the record uh outside there funny thing about this town uh a lot of people say hello a lot of people want to chat with you uh, but it's more like uh it's more like a greeting you know a hello they don't actually want to talk too much. Can I bother you for a quick interview? Love to talk to you, man. Can't make people talk and don't and don't try it, right? This is America. Safe injection site? Science, science, Scientology Church of... Uh... No, no, just down the street. Big supporter of them. That's interesting, because that's not what we're talking about. It's not COVID. <laughs> No, no, it's, it's a safe injection sites where you can use any drug there. It's taxpayer funded. And the question, I'd like to look in the alcohol, see if they let you sit down and have some beers in there. I'm not sure about that. That's crazy, right? That's good. Okay. So you think you'll, you'll, maybe you'll try heading over there later today? Yeah. Okay. I'll head over there now. Okay, listen, man, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you.
get a little closer. I mean, it's 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 uh, it's very interesting that something that's so new and so interesting, so crazy, uh, just one block away, and uh, you know that gentleman, he's 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 never heard it before. The city has this place now where you can go and do your drugs. But what type of drugs? Any drugs. Smoke it, inject it, snort it, whatever you want, you can do that there. Oh, that's good. You think it's good? I think that people can be safe, you know. Is there ever any trouble with the authorities? That's a great question. In case you didn't hear me ask, is there any trouble with the authorities? The mayor said that the police will not be allowed in that area to enforce. Oh, good. That is excellent. What about every everybody else? Other criminals? Are we discriminating against them? Don't they have a shouldn't they have a safe space they can do their criminal activity? Uh, who knows? Everyone matters. Everyone's important. Yeah, but brothels, right? What about sex addicts? Absolutely. Okay. Sex work is real work. You're going to have people who are addicted no matter what, and at some point they're gonna try to find a way to find their fix because it's not easy to get off of it. You know, I, I give you guys credit because uh, I spoke to a lot of people on this topic, and you were the first people to at least bring up uh, causation, right? Which yeah, is, you which have to is, think about that. I can understand why some people are hesitant. Yeah, so it sounds like the, the situation is so dire, you're willing to take some risk and, and try it out. Yeah, I mean, it, if things aren't working out, why not like pivot and reconsider down the line? But I think it's a worthy cause to at least try out initially. It depends on what the injection is. If the injection is B12, I'm all for it. If the injection is codeine and maybe things that might get my TV stolen and my tires slashed, my backpack taken, not so much. Well, where would you rather them be? Just standing on the corner, just shooting up drugs in the corner? Or would you rather them in a place like that? I say, I don't want my kids walking down the street and seeing these people shooting up. If you walk on every corner, they're out here. I seen a guy just stop in the, in the um, little corner the other day and just light his crack pipe and just kept going. I don't want my kids subject to that. I feel like anything that's regulated, uh, it's good for everybody, right? You got a BYOD though, you got to bring your own drugs, okay? They give you needles right there and you get to use your drugs, cops are not allowed in. And if you OD, they revive you, but uh, it's now the first in America, taxpayer funded. Go and do your drugs in, in the uh, safe injection site. Sounds good to me. Why not? I can't imagine George Washington saying, oh, this American shouldn't have this, right? I yeah, I mean, they certainly were on the side of freedom. They literally wrote a free nation into effect. And you get to use the drugs, and you won't be arrested, and you'll have people watching you in case you overdose. First place in America, this is happening right here. What are your thoughts? Um, I feel like some people will abuse drugs at any cost, and I feel like um, it would be safer, actually, if there are people watching. Speaking French. Ah, moi aussi, je parle euh, petit, petit en français. En, en français, uh -huh. maintenant? Yes, français. Vous parlez avec moi en français? Oui, ça c'est en français, on est en train de oh. parler déjà. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh -huh. J'ai étudié le, le, le français pour quatre ans dans l'école, mais je n'ai pas bon uh, non, non, avec le français. Non, c'est déjà bien. <laughs> Il faut avoir un ami qui parle français et à chaque fois vous allez parler. Où tu habites? Comme ça, moi je suis à Bronx. Ah, euh, moi euh, j'habite à Philadelphie. À Philadelphie. Oui, okay. euh, je suis une journaliste. Ah, vous êtes journaliste, yes. Oui. Merci beaucoup. Merci à toi aussi. Et puis bon séjour à New York. Ah. Oh. Ok, bon Thank séjour. Bon séjour. Bon séjour à New York. Oh, have a good time. Have good time in New York. Bon séjour. Bon séjour. Bon séjour. Yeah, because you come, you know, you know, from here. Right. So bon séjour. Bon séjour. Ah. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Have good time. Yes. Okay. Right? Yep. Okay. A tout à l'heure. Au revoir. Merci. All right. Bye. <laughs> See ya. So that was good. I had to break that out. It's rusty as hell, but.
At least I tried. The bartender serves you too much in the bar. You leave, crash. There's a law on it. It's called Dram Shop, and they have some liability. So I do wonder who's liable if someone ODs and they don't save them. Well, you're actually asking the right person. I am a licensed New York State insurance agent, and I sell <laughs> liquor liability insurance. So if you do own a bar and you don't have liquor liability, you should get it right away. Call me. I will be able to help you. 917-605-1905. You're going to expand it to uh, to safe injection site liability. No, we're just talking. To, we're, just, we're just simply going off of what you just said. That is true, and I, I insure a few bars around the city. So I do believe that, but safe injections, I don't know if you're for, if you if you're selling it or what your angle is, but just the truth. I just get the thoughts of the people. My truth is we just want to keep everybody safe and I would love for someone to go take a hit of crack and be okay, but it usually ends up pretty bad and usually ends up with loss of something, furniture, family, friends, job, all those things that trickle down from it. So the drug itself, I actually really don't have a problem with. But what it causes and the breakdown because of it is what I really have an issue with. So when that, that that's pretty much it. Hey, thanks for your time. Thank you. All right. Nice. Take care. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is a very uh, unique episode. I just want to say thanks. We have uh, Mobile Marketing 19. Monica on the Air Talk, right? It's at Monica on the Air Talk. And Crypto Attorney. We're doing a lot of spaces on Twitter, okay? I talked with uh, Nick Sandman. You know he is, Covenant Catholic. And I talked with him, did a live interview, thanks to uh, Crypto Attorney helping me with that. We have Nick Catucci, okay, videographer and producer. Uh, and we have uh, Peter Parkour, who helps us out in New York. A lot of special coverage was, uh, was, was his work. So if you haven't already, like, share, subscribe. Maybe I bit off more than I can chew here. No, you're doing Hey, right. thank you. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, The Truth of Mark Naughton. And uh, Twitter, at Mark Naughton 9. Okay, I'm doing spaces on there, and uh, they're getting very popular. Thanks. Have a good one.